The Queen of Granada by M. Riff Chapter 178, The Radio The children had already brushed their teeth and gone to bed. Rita stood with a dish brush and washed the dishes while Rosen dried. Tobar walked past toward the refrigerator and took two cold beers. He was on his way away when he turned around, lifted the beers in his hand, looked towards Rosen, and said, One of them is for you. Still with the sunglasses over her eyes, Rosen looked at him and said softly, I don't want anything. I have taken way too many pills. Somewhat disappointed, Tobar lowered his hand and left. He sat down in the rocking chair which he had recently bought at a flea market and placed it next to the one he had picked up in Malaga. Rosen dried the last plate, placing it in the upper cupboard, she glanced out the window at Tobar, who was sitting rather lonely in one of the rocking chairs. She considered coming out and sitting in the empty rocking chair next to him and keeping him company. But she already feared that the migraine would continue for several days. She needed to catch up on her much-needed sleep deficit. She was on her way to the bedroom when she turned around, leaned against the kitchen table, and said, there's something quite important I wanted to talk to you about. I have to ask you to stop tuning into Radio Stockholm. She explained, one of the clients mentioned again today that people passing the VW bus can hear you listening to the Chilean exile program on Radio Stockholm. A few months earlier, Rosen had brought it up while Rita was helping with the dishes in the kitchen. Rita had explained that she tuned into Latin American programs on the radio to learn Spanish, in addition to enjoying the music. The Spanish spoke too quickly for her as a beginner, whereas Spanish-speaking Hispanics spoke at a more manageable pace. Rosen had smiled and said, that's all right. If the neighbors complain again, I'll give your explanation, and if intelligence agents come knocking, I'll demand a court order for their decision. Even in hard times, Rosen used to stay positive. She often said that negative thinking is a mental illness. After visiting the Alhambra's secret medicinal garden, Rosen had changed and become pessimistic. Without contradicting her, Rita accepted. Rosen turned and left saying, Good night. Rita quietly opened Nuria's door and stepped inside. In a hushed tone she asked, Are you sleeping? Nuria whispered back, No, I don't. Instead of turning on the light, Rita left the door half open so that the light could enter from the hallway. She sat on the edge of Nuria's bed and asked softly, Was Nara at the bar this afternoon? Nuria replied, Yes, she insisted on coming. Rita stood up and leaned over to pull the covers over Nuria when the little girl sat up, put her arm around Rita's neck and said, Tomorrow morning Daddy is taking us to the Sierra Nevada to see the sunrise. Don't you want to join us? Rita replied, I think I'd rather stay in bed and get some more sleep. Disappointed, Nuria whispered with a sigh, Okay. Thank you.